Hi, so I am in Vauxhall and I'm about to go to the Henry Gallery to see Wes Lang's new show, which I'm really excited about to see because I first got into him in their previous video. I'll put the link at the end of it so you can see, but let's go take a look together of Wes Lang is in the New York. So entering in the Henny Gallery, this was a big gallery. You've seen it before when I've shown a variety of artists shown, but to actually have just one artist in all of these rooms, there's like six galleries on the top of my head, I believe. It was 96 paintings to go through on this uh, gallery, uh, which was very, very impressive. So. Just having a look at these, some of these for me they almost look like tales and fairy tales. It was very interesting to see this particular one. I like the idea of the champagne glass pouring and just the welcoming into this kind of event. It did have a bit of a Phantom of the Opera interview with a vampire kind of dinner with the devil vibe going to some of these paintings and this would be almost up a welcome coming into a door and taking one of those champagne foods. I also like the detail within the detail so you can see a lot of these paintings have paintings within the paintings so it's almost like Wes Lang's previous work is appearing with stuff like the synonymous horses that he does within the characters paintings here. He said uh, these works are based off of uh, Teo's and he does elements of, in this I can see his life about him being hero characters, but there's good, there's bad, there's questions of evil going throughout the actual paintings. Um, for me, I almost felt like I was looking at an adult storybook or tarot cards. These actually done as a deck of tarot would be very interesting in themselves. Uh, they are very dark. Uh, I wonder what the energy of the lobster is. It keeps appearing in a few things, and I do wonder whether the red lobster and the blue lobster comes in, which I'll show you have a different meaning. But also looking at these paintings, you can see stories you can make up, where it's like this devil with the umbrella, but it's little cute pink imp thing, and then these other little bits looking behind, and then you put it out and you see this whole kind of painting but that is not even it it's more above where it's something floating almost ethereal like uh playing music with this moon and star cape and these angel rings but the sands of time so is it death is it a magician what's going on um and then you start to look at the trees again and start to see the characters behind it and even then as I feel like I've looked at it, I look again and then I can see there's a moon just peeping in between the gaps. So again, the attention to detail is exquisite within these paintings. This particular painting made me feel very uncomfortable. It was more, I was feeling like it, it gave a kind of vibe. Eyes wide shut, that's the feeling it's given me. And with this kind of male pine for devil, it did mask it just made me feel uncomfortable going back onto the question of blue lobsters and red lobsters this is exactly what i was speaking about where you've got these monkeys almost tearing apart the blue lobster while you've got this devil figure looking in the painting in the background with the monkeys and it's beautiful wallpaper but also feels like it's got faces in the wallpaper And then you've got the cooked lobster where it's more like the monkey's not interested, it's not as violent, it's actually not tearing into a live monster, so they're just getting up to shenanigans, they're swinging off the chandeliers and getting drunk. But there's a human skull, skulls, and I'm wondering if this is a sense of memento mori or if this is about something else. And memento mori comes up a lot in uh, Wes Lang's pictures with all the skulls, and it does actually give you that native american latin kind of feeling of death and life um this beautiful little bird i did really like and i like the painting style where it just 
almost felt like a sketched out tattoo idea which I know uh, Wes Lang is uh, famous for really um, and that previous picture did look very Native American to me where this one feels like it's very Italian it feels very Dante's Inferno or something it could be to do with mixed with that Native American uh, feeling it's just very interesting from the crows to the draped blue uh, suit the devil like figure the monkey again in it the skull this Native American man to the next painting has got a skull instead of a sun it's almost very hellish to this next one where I just like the usage of light and the idea of this kind of sorrow that's going on here so it did make me think of are these figures in the underworld is this another place that's going in it was like adult story time looking and one of the things I do love is the way he paints horses I do love horses for you who know me I have seen previous stuff I do ride horses and it does grip me all the time And just like horses, also do so do moons, which appear in my own artwork a lot as well in season. So I was wondering what type of moon uh, was it? Uh, did it have any spiritual representation, or was it just actually a moon painted? Was I overlooking? But then you actually look into these little details, and you can see that devil hidden in there again. And straight away, it's not always the first thing you notice. Going in between the rooms, they've got this balcony you can look down, and that painting I really just love with the violin. And we're coming to some more final paintings with again the moons that just grabbing my attention. This dreamy detailing with the horses as well. This one grabs my attention with the colours painted into the horse and the next one almost felt otherworldly uh, which we're about to see next where it almost lo looks like it's within a nest and then you realise this bird that looks like within a nest is like, almost like a portal with more figures and another moon and that devil like appearance coming again. It felt very for me like I should be looking at some of this in some psychedelic 60s 70s kind of album cover. Uh, a lot of these pictures did and it gave me very vintage music feel vibes as well looking at the book with a tale learning and looking at menus and recipes and around that the scale of these this was the show and this was my favorite but we're going to end on because i just loved again from a greeting with the actual champagne at the beginning i talked about to this, some person approaching almost like a staff from interview with a vampire in the stairwell with these exquisite shoes and even the actual plant painted in the background on the stair it just made me think of a hot louisiana vibe so that was a really dark and eerie show that i enjoyed there was some paintings that was a little bit very dark for me i would say but at the same time the feeling overall especially how it ends is positive it's actually giving you an idea of actually with all the chaos going around there can still be positivity in the world uh that's what i got from it anyway i really would love to see your views and comments and love and reading your comments and responding back to them and as always thanks for watching and let's see uh what's on the next wednesday take care